Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Happy Monday. I hope and pray that you all have an amazing day. Got a few, got a few breaks here, so I wanted to stop in to kind of share with you my thoughts. Yes, I'm entitled to my thoughts, okay? <laughs> we all are. Do you hear me? I want to share with you just some thoughts about Thanksgiving. So this is a special week for a lot of people, mm -hmm. a lot of people. If you're not thankful just for being present, waking up, breathing, um, just being who you are, hopefully you're a good person. I'm Michelle. If this is your first time here, do not let it be your last. I'm the startup CEO, helping entrepreneurs, business owners, stay-at-home moms, and all of that. Hello to modify their life, up level to the next level, to start market growing profit in your own enterprise as the CEO of you, to help you take that side hustle, turn it into your main hustle so you can increase the dollars in your life, your lifestyle. The more opportunities you have to bless other people, the better off you are. I promise you karma is a great thing. So three reasons why I believe that Thanksgiving is overrated. I'm going to share this with you. You may agree, you may not. Oh, well, so what? This is my broadcast <laughs> and I can share my thoughts because we're all entitled to our thoughts. The first reason why I want you to know why I believe Thanksgiving is overrated because favor is not fair. What do I mean by that? If you are a person of faith, if you are a person that knows that every day is a day of opportunity, every day is a day of blessing, then you know what I'm talking about. Favor is not fair. Somebody during this week is not going to eat. Somebody during this week is going to wonder how they're going to get their next meal. And my question to you, are you going to be an active participant and help somebody have a happy Thanksgiving? That's why Thanksgiving is overrated. People put too much into one day, one day when you have 365 days in a whole year to be thankful. Do you hear me? One day they spend in the kitchen cooking, getting fat, eating all that greasy food and everything else and not thinking about those who may be hungry as well. Your one day can be a blessing to somebody's every day. Do you hear me? Your one day can be a blessing to somebody's every day. So if you're in the kitchen and you're cooking something and you know around the corner, there's somebody that's not eating, be an active participant. Favor ain't fair. Do you hear me? Give and you shall receive. Thanksgiving is about everyday blessings. That's why it's overrated. People put too much into one day. People too put, put too much into them greens, those collard greens, those uh, that green casserole. I heard that green casserole was the least favorite dish of Thanksgiving. I ain't made green bean casserole in God knows how long. And yes, it is disgusting. <laughs> Literally, I'm talking about soul food cooking here. Do you hear me putting your foot in everything that you cook in green bean casserole unless it's done right? Mm-mm-mm. So favor ain't fair. Somebody on Thanksgiving Day is not sitting around the table with candles and, and, and flowers and pomp and circumstance and all that kind of stuff. So when you sit at your table, think about that and make sure that you're thankful for every day, not just Thanksgiving Day, but every day. And make sure you give glory to God that those that are not blessed to be doing what you're doing, that they're able to find something somewhere to sustain their wholeness, their wellness and to feed their tummy. The next reason why I believe that Thanksgiving is overrated is because people don't appreciate Thanksgiving. You can tell that every day because we're so mean to each other. We don't appreciate the existence of human life. We don't appreciate the existence that everybody is created equal, but yet we are different. Yes, I'm telling you this because it's a fact. I see people every day that are mean to each other for no reason at all. Why? Because they think they're better than somebody else or because they think the person doesn't deserve what they have. Look, the word of God says that we are all his people. We all walk around in his kingdom. So nobody is better than somebody else. And just because you got it going right now, look at here, as I just said, karma is real. And just because it's going well for you right now, it certainly can turn a corner in just a minute. Thanksgiving is overrated. Why? Because people don't understand that being thankful, there's a method to it. When you're thankful, you constantly give praise. You know that you didn't do it by yourself. There had to be a greater source, a greater being in you 
that instilled you to go be thankful and to be who you are. So even if you don't believe in God, which I find it very hard for people that don't, I'm like, how the hell are you doing all this stuff? Do you <laughs> look, there has to be something greater in you. And so if there's something greater in you and you're not grateful for it on a consistent basis and you only talk about being grateful on one day in one week of the year, then something is wrong with that. Do you hear me? Most people don't appreciate the fact that being thankful is a daily process. It's a process that you should should practice on a regular, not just one day, one week and one time of the year. The next thing that I feel that Thanksgiving is overrated is because I stated earlier, Thanksgiving is 365, not just one day when you're in the kitchen cooking and, and when everybody gets excited to do the food drives and all that stuff. Thanksgiving is 365. People are hungry, 365. And then it's overrated for the simple reason that the day of Thanksgiving designated, which is typically not Thanksgiving. If you know anything about it, look it up, look it up, look it up. I'm teaching you facts right now. Thanksgiving, not the day you think it is. <laughs> it's more to it than just that. So know your history, read your history, live above and beyond, but don't forget, okay? Because history means a lot and you just cannot wash under the rug history. You cannot write off history because history lives with you. And everything that you do. But then, you know, people out shopping, trying to get up and beat up each other up on Black Friday. Look at here. I ain't the one. I'm not going to be out here hustling and, and fighting over people for a TV or anything else for that matter. Because you know what? I serve a great God. And if it's meant for me to be and meant for me to have it, he's going to bless me with it no matter how much it costs. <laughs> I said that. Yes, I believe that. And it is true. Okay. And so, Thanksgiving overrated. I want you all to be careful because during this week is when people crazy for the simple reason, because they're going to over exaggerate the word Thanksgiving. They're not going to really dwell in the fact that Thanksgiving is more than material things. Thanksgiving is your sight. Thanksgiving is your health. Thanksgiving is that you can remember and know what you're talking about. Thanksgiving is more than food. Thanksgiving is more than a day. Thanksgiving is more than a week, one day out of the year. Be thankful every day. Today, I'm thankful that I'm able to get on and share this message with somebody because somebody needed to hear that. Somebody needs to know that there is opportunity in being thankful. And when you're blessed, you're supposed to bless somebody else. That's what the word of God says. When you're blessed, you're supposed to bless somebody else. So I hope and pray that this message has ignited your thought. I hope and pray that this message has enabled you to think and know that there are so many people out here that deserve to be thankful, but are they actually thankful? Do they receive what they need to be thankful? Know that Thanksgiving is more than Black Friday. Yes, it is. Even if you're a business owner, you should be profiting every day, not just on Black Friday. OK, I know people spend their money on that day. You have sales and all that kind of stuff. But look, every day that you're in business, you should be profiting, not just on Black Friday. And understand that the more you give, the more you receive. That's true because karma, karma is the more you give, the more you receive being blessed in every area of your life, your health, your wealth, your knowledge, everything. And as long as you're around family and people that love you, that's Thanksgiving right there. As long as you got a roof over your head, that's Thanksgiving right there. As long as you have opportunity in front of you to move out of your comfort zone, that's Thanksgiving right there. Understand Thanksgiving is more than one day out of a whole 365. Thanksgiving is routine. Thanksgiving is overrated. As long as you think it's material and about food. Thanksgiving is about being grateful every day, every chance you get up in the morning saying, I'm thankful today. I'm thankful every day. And every opportunity that you get, you're screaming that Thanksgiving. So somebody ain't going to like this, but you know what? I really don't care. <laughs> I'm Nichelle. With 2XL, with Nichelle.com. Click the link up there in my bio. Click the link in the title of this message and check me out at Nichelle Womack on Instagram for daily inspiration, motivation, business tips, hacks, and all that kind of good stuff. Check me out on YouTube at the Startup CEO. Link is up there in the description and in my bio. Blessings and peace. Make it a great day. 
not just today, not just Thursday, but every day. And believe this, remember this and know this, that you have the opportunity to change somebody's life by what you say, by what you do, and even how you look at them. Don't stare at people. Don't don't think you're better than nobody else because you know what? You're not. <laughs> you're not. We're all equal in God's kingdom. Yes, we are. Take care. Blessings and peace until next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.